Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern, and this is my lovely philodendron splendid here beside me. Welcome back to another planty video. I'm so glad that you're joining me today. So I am working with this rather large plant today, and I'm further away from the camera than usual to accommodate for that, which is why I'm using this mic. Which is why I'm talking like this, because holding the mic just makes me want to talk in like a more sultry voice. I don't know why. Is sultry the word? I don't know. Regardless, as you know, today we are going to be chopping up my philodendron splendid. He's kind of leaning back right now, but I have been air layering this plant for I think about a month now. And to be honest with you, I can't even see any roots in the air layering moss sections, but we will take a look at that. Um, I'm going to move the camera a little bit closer and then we are going to unpack the air layering and see what we're working with. Okay, so here we have the air layering. Now I think it's mostly secured just by this Velcro, so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that. Oh. Oh, there's one more. Oh, okay. It's just gonna come off like that. Oh my gosh. There's literally no roots. There's like one tiny one. Why isn't this working? The last time I did this, it worked super well. Very interesting. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll check the other one too. Okay, very similar. <laughs> There's like one root. Like, I'm very surprised. I don't know why this didn't really work. Yeah, there's one little root that's growing. I can see roots going into the moss pole, so I kind of want to still chop it and just hope that there's enough of a root system in the moss pole. Oh, but I don't know. That's kind of a risk because if there's not, then the plant's gonna die. Um, the roots on Philodendron Splendid I also find are very fine, um, which I don't like. <laughs> I really don't like I much prefer working with plants that have like a thick uh, root system, but yeah, hmm. Can you see that nice fuzzy root right there that's going in? That looks very nice. Let me look up the rest of the pole and see if other nodes are rooted in. Because if they are, then that gives the plant a better chance. And it looks like they are. Most of them, at least. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and chop it. And we can really find out how much the plant rooting into the moss pole really is going to come into play here. It's going to be like... A little bit of an experiment, okay? Um, all right, 
I have to decide where I'm gonna be chopping this and I have to take apart the moss pole and everything. I think that I'm gonna actually lay it down to do the cutting because that's just going, oh shoot, my potting mat. That's just going to be easier. Yeah, I feel way better doing it this way. Okay. Okay, I'm a little nervous, but you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. And one of the reasons that I'm wanting to just go ahead with this project, even though my air layering didn't work, is because as you can see, this plant is growing. We have a new leaf that's about to unfurl any time here. Um, and I need to get the extension on here um, so that it can continue to grow up that. So yeah, it just, it needs to be done. And I'm placing a lot of faith into the inside of this moss pole, even though I'm not super great at keeping it watered, you know? I'm just hoping that there's enough roots. Um, Okay, so I'm going to be cutting. My gosh, I'm nervous to cut it, but I'm, I need to do it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm cutting right there. And then on the other side, I am cutting a similar spot right there. And I think there's another vine along the back. Oh no, the other one's not, not at that height yet. So only those two vines we have to cut, which is good. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to deconstructing the moss pole here. So I'm just going to cut the zip ties that are holding the attachment on. This is three separate moss pole extensions. Um, I have videos on how, I, I probably have a video on putting this on the moss pole even. So I'll link any related content down below. But yeah, they're just zip tied together. Man, some of these leaves are so beat up from when I dropped this on the floor in one of my last videos. Oh, this poor plant has been through it. No wonder the air layering didn't work. <laughs> Okay, I think we're almost there. Oh, it must be still attached somewhere. Is it? Oh, no, I don't think, oh! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my splendid! Oh my gosh, it's leaking on me. Oh wow. This is so pretty though. It's kind of perfect how that ended up too because there's not moss in the very bottom because that's where I attached it. I'm just gonna gently remove, um, oh shoot, I don't wanna damage that new leaf. I'm just gonna gently remove some of, some a little bit more moss so that I can um, stick this part of the pole down into the new pot. I don't want the moss to there to be a ton of moss in there because then we could get into a root rot type of situation because it holds more moisture than the potting mix. This is okay I can see a root in here but it's small. This is going to be an interesting experiment you guys. And I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. This is one of my all time favorite plants too, by the way, if you're new to my channel, this isn't just like a random plant. Yeah, we are working with sparse, sparse roots. But honestly, the fact that the roots are alive, um, or wait, was that where I was air layering? No, this wasn't even where I was air layering and there's roots. 
So the fact that there is roots in the pole um, gives me hope that the same, it's gonna be the same all the way up and there's gonna be some sort of root system up this whole pole. Because if that's the case, then I think that the plant's gonna be okay. Okay, that should be good, but I'll show you. So we have those small roots right there. And then all we have are, well, there's some roots here. And then on the inside, I don't know how well you will be able to see, but there is a small amount of roots in here as well. So my next step, I'm actually going to just cut this so that cut the vine so that it's even with the bottom of the pole. Oh my God. Where did this giant hairball just come from? Like, what the heck? All right, so I'm going to go grab a pot to pot this into my potting mix. We'll get it all potted up and then I will move on to adding the extension on. I guess I can pick this up now. Okay, so I am gonna be using a clear pot so that I can easily monitor, monitor, monitor the root system. So this should actually be the perfect size anyways. Using a nice chunky potting mix. I'm gonna grab this guy and actually I'm gonna fill the bottom a little bit because there's a weird like dip around the edge. I've been down this road before. Okay, and then I'm going to try to put some potting mix into the pole. This never really goes well. Oh shoot. <laughs> it's not easy y'all, it's not easy. Okay, that's actually very good. This is the tricky part though, shoot. Was that a fail? Kind of, but I think it's gonna be okay. No, I'm not happy with that gap. I also don't wanna like break any of the roots when I'm doing this. I think I'm going to try adding a bunch of potting mix and then see if I can just like, I think I've tried this before and it didn't work, but. No, it's not gonna work. Shoot, why is that so hard? I'm just being extra fussy this time because, because we're working with a precarious root system already, so I want it to be as good as possible. Oh my gosh. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Great, I'm just going to fill with soil.
this potting mix does have myco and all that good stuff in it. So hopefully that's going to promote some root growth for us. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Pole is kind of close to the front of the pot, but you know what? I will just adjust anything that needs to be adjusted after after we root in here some more. I'm just doing it how it went in for now. I'm not gonna fill the soil up all the way to the top. I'm just gonna fill it to where the sphagnum starts on the pole. It doesn't need to be super deep right now anyways, since we don't have any roots, you know? Okay, we're moving into phase two, or I guess more like phase three of this project now, and I'm going to add a moss pole extension onto this one. I'm gonna actually use this moss and just um, put it in the top here to fill it out. I don't like this vine growing up here without um, a moss pole to root into. Okay, so now I'm just going to be making an extension to go on here. I actually need to count how many squares I made this one so that it's gonna be the same. Okay, 16, that's what I thought. So. So this is going to be the extension. I probably want this to be the bottom. No, I'm gonna make this the bottom. And all I'm gonna do is fill it up with moss. I'm gonna use this air layering moss <laughs> since it did nothing for our air layering. Hopefully it will serve its function in this pole. And then Oh shoot, my sphagnum's dry. BRB. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it. I always leave some space at the bottom because that's where we're going to be zip tying it onto the other one. Okay, I think that's gonna be pretty good. I'm gonna start zip tying it up. Now I'm running out of my black zip ties again, which is very annoying. I only have two left, so we're gonna be throwing it back to my <laughs> bright zip ties. So I'm just gonna leave the bottom because we're gonna do that later. I can always switch these out, switch the colorful ones out to the black in the future. That's probably pretty good for that. Now, we have to add it on. So I just try to slip this over. Actually, I'm gonna put more sphagnum in here. Wait, I haven't cut these off yet. We need to do that first. Let's just quickly snip them off. Oh my gosh. All right, so I'm just gonna slip it over top like that. Oh. <laughs> Oops.
Okay, I think that that is quite good, actually. That looks good. Oh, there's a helicopter outside. I feel like there's never helicopters going by my house. It's weird. So now we need to secure the extension onto the base moss pole with zip ties again. I like to add a few just to be sure, but I think in this case, I'm just gonna put a couple at the back. Normally, I do it all the way around, but perhaps when I get new black zip ties, I can add more onto the front. It seems pretty secure already, so I'm not too worried. Oh my gosh. Jeez, this poor plant, it's just always falling over. Okay, <laughs> it's so dramatic. Okay, so now phase four is going to be um, just securing the vine onto this new moss pole, which is fun. So I have a little dragonfly clip here that I'm gonna use. So we're just clipping, actually, you know what? This vine might be getting too thick for my dragonfly clips at this point. Mm. <laughs> oh, it works, but just barely, just barely in there. And this one I took out, I'm gonna put it back in. Just my little metal pin. That one is okay. Okay, so. I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. Um, hopefully it will be okay and it will continue to grow up this moss pole. Let me back you up so that you can get an idea of the full picture here. Okay, so here it is, the finished project. Now, one thing that I do need to do is find a cover pot for this because since I'm using just a plastic pot, this is very, as you saw, um, uh, unstable because this is so lightweight. So yeah, that is one thing that I need to do, but I just feel better going with a clear pot. Um, but yeah, I'm super, super happy with this. I'm gonna continue growing out both plants for a while. I might eventually sell the mother plant, um, but I obviously wanna make sure that this is established first. So that is my current priority. Yeah, I'm definitely honestly kind of pleasantly surprised at how this went besides the whole having no roots situation. <laughs> Let me know if you think this plant is going to live or die. Seriously, cast your votes down below in the comments. I'm very curious as to what everyone thinks. I'm very curious as to what's going to happen, what's going to be the outcome of this. I think it will be okay, but if it's not, then, you know, that's gonna suck, but at the end of the day, it's just a plant. I will start, I will, I will, well, I still have another one, so I don't even need to start growing another one. I'll just continue to grow the other one. Um, but yeah, I'm just really curious about this and I've had fun doing this, so thank you so- Olive, you scared me. What is it? Is someone there? You hot and bothered? Come here. Come here, you hot and bothered, huh? You're a guard dog. All right, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I will see y'all in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.